Hey y'all, it's Lisa with Backroads Trinkets and Treasures, and I wanted to share with you a video of two online auctions that I actually won quite a bit of stuff in, and um, I'm really impressed with myself on it. I think I did very well, and I'm going to show you my little haul. The last haul video I did, it's embarrass embarrassing to say, it was um, about 25 minutes all in slow motion because I've got this camera that I'm not used to and that I am going to watch and make sure I don't hit the slow motion button this time on these videos or on this video. Anyway, I'm going to show you my little haul from two auctions. Okay, so here's my table full of auction winnings that I am so happy with and excited and can't wait to list. And I'm going to give you a little breakdown of what I won. So the first auction was this invoice here. It was five dogs and bear themed planters that were hand painted Japanese dog and bear themed planters. There was one with cracks and chips which I don't have in here. It's in the sunroom and it's just on the window in the sunroom because it's not one I would sell but it was a little Yorkie and it was white and I kept it. For me, I didn't care about the, cra the cracks. So this first auction is with the buyer's premium of 70 cents and taxes a whole six dollars and 17 cents. And again, the other broken um, planter is in my sunroom and I'm gonna keep it for me. So I'll start with this. Here is one little teddy bear planter, which is adorable. And I believe it's made in Japan because all of these are actually made in Japan and they kind of show a lot of age with their crazing. I'll get a little close to his face. Okay. Look how cute his little face is. It's precious. And I'm sure you can see the little crazing, which is normal for its age. Let's see. Then we have this little shoe with a little puppy who looks scared to death. Look at his eyes. Yeah, he looks scared. I don't know why, but he just looks scared to me. And this one is a Japan also. And you can see the crazing and how old it is. But I'm, I'm happy with how cute it is and it's in really good shape for its age. And here's a little Scotty planter. I think he's my favorite of this lot and it's made in Japan also. He's precious. A little bit of a mark right there. You can barely see. I don't think that's a crack. That's actually just a missed paint mark because there's no crack right there for chip. But anyway, he's precious. And I'll zoom in on his face so you can see him also. He's cute. And then here's the fourth one. It's beautiful. I love the painting on this one. This one is made in Japan. Hand painted Japan. And it looks like a little cocker spaniel to me. Which tickles me to death on a little black cat. Because I have a cocker spaniel. A little yellow cocker spaniel just like that. And that was my whole $6.00. And whatever I said, 17 cents less the one that's in my office. Then the next auction I did, which is the major accumulation of stuff right here, this was my invoice for all of this, which is let's see, the buyer's premium. The total was $68. The buyer's premium was ten twenty eight tax four eighty nine for a grand total of eighty three oh nine and I did leave a five dollar tip because the boy helped me load it but I will show you what I've got here the first one is my favorite out of all the auction items it is a hand blown art glass base Matsunoki style hand blown decorations possibly Italian Polished pontal, no chips or cracks, early to mid 20th century. And this I paid $11 for. I would have paid more. I think it's beautiful. 
to do a little research on this because I've not done it. I just got these, picked these up a few minutes ago. But look how pretty this is. It's kind of a yellowish greenish color. And there's the pontal. And here's all the little glass accents on it. Is that not gorgeous? So that was my first one for $11. That was really what I wanted out of the whole auction was just that one piece of glass there, but I didn't stop. The next one is a Billy porcelain vase from the 1980s with the gold mark, no chips and no cracks. And for the week, I'm trying not to hit this plate with the shamrocks. There you go. And here's the mark. I'm not sure if that's focusing because my little screen is so tiny. But anyway, that is Bleak. A Bleak vase. And it's in perfect condition. Five dollars. Thank you very much. Yes, I was happy with that. Very happy with that. And then the next one on the list was the Rosenthal hand-painted vase with boats. I'm going to go over there real easy. Don't want to break it. Okay, here's the Rosenthal vase with the bows. This is so beautiful and soft and dreamy. I just love that soft painting. It's so subtle. And then here's the top. There's a tiny little flake of paint missing on that. Which I don't care about. It's really not a chip. It's just a, some of the gold is off. Well, it is a little chip. It is a little chip. I lied. They said no chips and cracks, but there is a little chip. I'm not going to whine about it because I paid $8 for this, and it's a Rosenthal. Good area. I guess you can see that pretty well. And look how pretty the painting is. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. There's boats on the back also. So that's the Rosenthal. And the next item was Vintage Decor Circa 1940 White Glaze Pottery Cornucopia 1990s Crystal Vase Clock, oh, Crystal Case Clock, in 1920s Cherubs. So that is the Cornucopia. It's back here. Ooh, it's heavy. It's definitely a heavy pottery. That's really nice. Very nice. I don't think it's marked. It says USA. I can see barely see USA on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it is made in the USA. So I'll have to do a little research and see if I can figure out who made that. But that's beautiful. And that was part of the lot. And then this red crystal clock was part of it. Which I'm not really a crystal lover. But it's... Let's see made in Taiwan crystal clear 24% lip crystal and it's pretty pretty enough to sell for me I have no don't desire to keep that and then the third thing in that lot which was I'm going to give a price on that that lot was $5 was this 1920s cherub picture and I don't know anything about this type of art how they figured out it was 1920s. I've not done any research on any of this. And the glass is cracked, which they did say it was cracked. Which I could probably find another oval black frame to put this in. But I need to figure out what it is first before I even attempt to do that. It says it's from the 1920s. And like I said, that was only $5 for all three pieces there. Yeesh. And then the next thing were a pair of cherub lamps. Let's see down here. And they're nothing spectacular, but for the price of these, let's see if you can see their little faces. I got two. Yeah, I thought they were cute. I paid six dollars for two lamps with nice shades. Everything's there, nice boards. And that was two dollars. I almost fell off the couch because I had too much junk. So that was six dollars for two lamps in that. Then I got two Coca-Cola metal trays right down here, which I thought were beautiful. 
They're both the same. But I paid twelve dollars for both of those. That was in one lot. Then the next thing, early 1900s porcelain lot. That doesn't tell me much. I've got to figure out which one that is. I want to say, um, that was $7. I want to say this was this right here. This, and this is RC. Versailles. And it's definitely hand painted. Attached little gravy boat. My phone is driving me crazy. That was in that lot. And this. Made in Japan. And this. Japan. This was in that pot. Just a little porcelain spoon. I don't know if that goes together, but I doubt it. And I believe that was all that was in that lot. And that was $7 for all those pieces right there. My next lot was $9, which was my biggest lot. And one of the reasons I got this was they called it the um, five and dime and the way they described this was mostly made in Japan before World War II with two plates being occupied Japan right after World War II during the American occupation of Japan which I think that kind of self-explanatory occupied Japan and one example of pre-World War II California pottery which is that right there the orange but I'll show you what all was in this lot for um, nine dollars so starting with this little japan plate little flower with butterflies all around it then this little cute ashtray look at this how adorable is that a little hand painted and it was made in germany look at that bavaria germany And then there's two of these plates that are hand painted also and they're made in Japan both are the same and there's no chips and cracks on these and the glaze is still really nice very nice glaze and then this one which I think is beautiful hand painted and it has the artist oh god please don't let that be a bug Ugh, some kind of bug leg I don't know what the name is. It's H something. I'll have to see if I can find anything on this plate. But it is hand painted. And there is no marking. But I'm going to say it's Japan also. By the way it feels and looks. And characteristics of this plate. And then. In this lot. I'm going to try and keep all this together. I haven't counted how many pieces were in this. Is. This plate which is signed by the artist and I can't it looks like Hiltoni H-I-L-T-O-N-I -I, but I can't swear to that I don't know and that was made in Japan and it's got it feels like it has brown paint sprayed on it it's kind of rough it's not it's weird and it could be smoke I don't know I would venture to guess that's what that is and then this one is part of that lot beautiful fall scene hand painted Japan and again the brown maybe that's a nicotine stain I don't know I don't smell anything and then these two plates which I think are gorgeous hand painted plates and that's I.O. China, made in Japan, made in occupied Japan. I've never heard of I.O. China, but hey, there's two of those, and they're both occupied Japan. And then, this is the 
pre-World War II California hand painted pottery. I think it's beautiful. Made in California. It's about an 8 inch plate. But look at that. Pretty, pretty. And it looks like the painting is over the glaze in this one. And that was that lot, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten items that were nine dollars. So less than a dollar an item for that lot. Which I'm very pleased with. And I will sell the two matching plates in each set. This and this, I think, were my final lot, which were both of those. You're not going to believe it. Five dollars. Nobody bid against me on these, which tickled me to death because this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's German. I would say Prussia because of the way that painting is, the details on it. I think it says KST Germany, but I believe that's Prussia. Look at that. That is like just absolutely perfect and gorgeous. So there's that, and then here's painted by Neil Glenn. Beautiful little plate. I think it's, it feels Japan, Japanese. I don't know where this one's from. It's not marked, but Neil did a great job painting that, I think. And all the gold is still pretty much all intact. But anyway, that's my haul from two auctions. And I'm going to, actually, I'm going to come off, go off for a moment and count the pieces and see what the average is out of everything I got with all the pieces into 8309. Hold on just a moment. Okay, so I took an average of what I spent and divided it by the pieces that I got, which I had 29 pieces and I paid 89.03 so each piece averages about 307 per piece and I just realized I don't think I showed that plate right there and I can't remember which lot it is until I look back at my page but that was included in 29 pieces and it's not marked on the back because I looked earlier Anyway, so 307 per piece, and when I put them on eBay, who knows? I, I'll get more. I'll get double that easy, and triple. I don't know. I haven't really sat here and tried to average what I'm going to ask for each piece, but I know that. I don't think I showed that either. This is a beautiful little jug. It's not marked on the bottom, but it's hand painted. And I'll have to figure out which lot that was in. I'll have to look at the pictures, but that was also in my cell. I figured I should probably show that off a little up close too, because it is very pretty and detailed. I don't know who made it, because like I said, I haven't researched any of this. And this little vase. It is a cute little vase. It is made in Japan. I wonder what that sticker says on the bottom of that. Oh, he can't read it. It's too old. Way too old. But, anyway, that was my two auction hauls. And, I don't think I averaged my other auction. Which... Let's see. There were five in that. I'm just going to say four because the, other, the fifth one was really cracked and 
chip. So let's say 617 divided by 4. So that'd be 154 a piece for those four little planters, which I know I can get more than that. I'm happy with that, but anyway, y'all have a great day. It's about to start storming here in Texas. Of course, it can in Texas. And I'm glad y'all came along for the ride on my back roads and trinkets and treasures. Thank y'all. Coca-Cola.